This is my prawn po' boy. You're going to need for the patty some king prawns, lemon, cayenne pepper, panko breadcrumbs. We're serving this, some lovely focaccia, baby spinach, and for the remoulade, some celeriac, whole grain mustard, mayonnaise, creme fraiche, and chives. Also, we're going to do some toasted cashew nuts and some parmesan crisps. First, the remoulade. We've got some celeriac here. I'm just going to take the end off, trim the sides. And what I want from this is like fine julienne strips. So I've got a mandolin, and just very carefully, I'm just going to start taking it through the blade. And if you've not got a mandolin, slice finely, layer, and just chop into thin shreds. And that's lovely, look. So in a bowl, I'm going to take some whole grain mustard, a nice spoonful, some mayonnaise, and some creme fraiche, and a few chives. And that's the base for a great salad. Look at that. It's creamy. You've got that lovely celeriac taste. And there, that's all you need to do. Now I'm going to toast some cashew nuts. Toasting cashews intensifies that rich, almost sweet flavour that's often used as a base in curries, like korma. So they're going to give my po' boy a bit of an extra exotic twist. Now for the parmesan crisps. These can give my po' boy a lovely, cheesy, crunchy texture. And I'm just going to make two piles. And I'm putting it on a heat-proof mat, just so it's easy to take off. I'm now going to place these in a hot oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to take about four to five minutes, but just keep an eye on them, because they burn very quickly. Mmm. I mean, who doesn't like grilled cheese? Now for the prawn patty. So I've got a small hand blender. I'm just going to add the prawns. Got these lovely king prawns here. And I'm just going to keep three or four aside, because although I'm going to blitz the main patty, I'm going to keep some whole ones through it as well, just to get some lovely texture in there. I'm going to add some panko breadcrumbs, zest of a lemon, and I'm only adding the zest. It's going to give it a lovely lemon flavour, and I don't want to add the juice, because I want our patty to be dry. A touch of cayenne pepper. This is going to add a lovely spice to it. A pinch of salt and some pepper. And just give it a quick blitz. And I'm pulsing so it doesn't turn into a puree. I want a bit of body in it. That's that ready. Take a bowl, just pour in with a spatula so you get it all out. And the remaining prawns into the mix and then fold through. So you're going to get a lovely prawn crunch every now and then. So the patty is now ready to cook. So on with the pan. I need quite a lot of oil for this. So a nice glug of olive oil in there. Now I've wet my hands, because it's a great way to form the patty without it sticking to them. And I'm trying to shape the big prawns just into the middle, so they're not poking out the sides. And that's the shape I want. And after about three minutes, just have a check. And that's the colour I want. Perfect. Cook them for about three to four minutes each side. OK, the patty's cooked. We've got our cashews toasted, the remoulade's made, and we've got our parmesan crisps. And last of all, let's get on to the bread. So I've got this lovely focaccia here. You can use any type of flat bread. As long as you've got length on it, use anything you want. And I really want to make this, well, kind of a wrap. So I'm going to take off one of the ends, and I'm just slicing through it. And I'm going to need, I think, about roughly two thirds. Now, I'm not just going to put the patty inside and just make the sandwich. I want to griddle it first. By buttering and griddling the bread, I'm adding that extra dimension, just like Luke does on his trailer. So you've got some lovely colour on there as well now. We're now ready to build the po' boy. And now I'm going to wrap it. And to do this, I'm going to use some greaseproof paper. There you go, my po' boy. Now look at the layers in that. I'm very, very pleased with this, and I think it's going to taste really good. So why wait? Oh, it's really great. The remoulade, really creamy as well, and the mustard. And every now and then, you get a crunch of parmesan, and another crunch of the cashew nut. A street snack from the deep south, my prawn po' boy. 
So the lemons and limes are going to pickle the fish. This is going to take anything between an hour and a half to two hours. I'm just going to cover it with cling film, pop it in the fridge and let it pickle. The magic's starting to happen. I'm just going to have a quick clear down and then start on the slaw. Next, some spring onions. And I've got some of these lovely pickled walnuts. Going to get a real sharp vinegary flavour, which really helps add acidity to the salad.